Hello everybody, welcome back to another browser game spotlight. This is Sprocket Rocket. What's it about? Well, it's another flying, physics-based puzzle editor and all those other fine words that describe games. Where you have to fly through rooms and add parts to your ship that will help you get past obstacles and collect all of the cogs. Yes, I read that last sentence from the bottom. Anyway, um, I do remember playing this one and enjoying it a great deal. You'll, yeah, I've kind of messed around with the logo maker here. Um, you'll soon find out which cartoon characters this game is based on. Flying so far is just the arrow keys. And, yeah, there you have it. Hints and a lot of information about pan patenting. Pat -a -pat 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 -pat. What's the word? Patents. Yes, getting your patents in. So these are the cogs that we need to collect. So far, so good. Nothing too hard. Let's get the mouse. All this hard work is wearing me out. Yeah. So yeah, still nothing too hard. Yay, that's handy. Here's some information about patenting, if that's something that interests you. I think that's for patenting, yeah? Well, if anyone's from the UK, they'll probably tell me that I'm right or completely off my rockers. That's something they say, right? Not to be racist or anything. Seriously, I've been to Little London. Had fun there. So, this is where the fun stuff begins. Time to modify our ship. And there you have it. You can start drawing the weirdest thing you can think of. Just make sure it doesn't cross on itself. And once you say, yeah, I can see this working. Don't go mad, boy. Easy does it. You've created a very heavy ship tool. Yeah, yeah. And there you have it. I do get some lift out of it. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Um, start over, yes. So, at the beginning, the only thing you can do is get a solid object drawn on. And that'll help you solve puzzles like that. But, if you go back, you can see you get glued. And um, things are starting to get back. You ha also had... Something that's on a hinge, so just flailing about. Then you have a quick engine and a strong engine. The difference between those two was the one turns around pretty fast, but jams pretty quickly. The other one's just the opposite. It turns incredibly slowly, but can almost knock down a wall if you're interested in doing that. So, let's continue on with a bit. You don't need this thing anymore, so there you have it. Enjoy that. So you get faced with another puzzle. They are kind of hand-holding this one. So unless you're incredibly good at ignoring things written on your screen, in the big see, that's what I mean. I do. Fine, fine. We'll do it your way. Yeah, yeah. Be now. You could do a thing like that. And just pull that off. You don't need this thing anymore. Get rid of it. Yep, already figured that out. Anyway, I'll try to go do brown. Well, we'll see how far we get. Yep, there it is. Swing tool. And then we reach our. Yeah, see. I don't think I'll be able to get this one unless I get super lucky. Drop my tool that it knocks the gear out of it, but I don't think I'll be ready here. Anyway, this is sort of the hub world. Uh, where you have all your fun places to go. So, see if we can do that one there. I think we'll need a hook that's now something like this. So... 
Let's see if we can make this a bit more sharpy. Like so. That's not really a hook, is it? Okay, this, this, and that. Is this flyable? Ooh. Okay, so that's the hinge. Don't think I'll be taking that one. Then. Off you go. And now we need to redraw the whole thing. That's a bit unfortunate, but. Yep, and we'll glue it on. Let's see if you can get that thing out. No, because I can't get through here anymore. Oh, well. Uh, well, we don't need a tool for this one. Kind of like a Rube Goldberg machine. See? I know big words. Uh, let's go check out one more room. <laughs> There's really a lot of fun stuff to be done here. Like this one. Just messing around with stuff you shouldn't be messing with. What I did find out is that a shape like just a spike like this putting on a... Str no, it's not this one. It's, it's the other way around, actually. I consider this my hint to you guys that a tool like this on a strong engine that you'll be getting at some point can be used for a lot of puzzles and well I don't know if you would I kind of find that sad because it well makes you not having to think that hard anymore <coughs> let's see if we can do something with this thing now Cut. Yeah, right, right. no, no. I mean, people are now yelling at me for, oh, you can just do this or you can just do that. Probably, but go play the game for yourselves, man. Really, it's a real recommendation, uh, this one. Let's see if this spike will allow me to do something good. Maybe if I put it a little up higher. Yep, there's a lot of editing going on for this one, and that's good. That's good. So if I then do this, will this allow me to grab some of those balloons? Grab as much as I can so that I may lose a few and try to bring them down like so. So I got to fly my balloons, bring me some useful stuff. Well, that one didn't do too much for me. Maybe the other one will. Nope. Let's just bring the whole lot down if we can. And I know I should end the video soon, but I'm really enjoying myself with this one. Come on! Do it! Do it! Yeah! Yeah! Well, three. That's better than none. And now it's only two. If cogs go off the screen, they will reset themselves. Eh, let's go on. Though. We'll make this a long one, because the previous one was rather short. Ball pit. No, I don't care about pants. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. Let's see how far this gets us. Ooh, it's doesn't like doing that. We, yeah, if we're gonna have to bring them out one by one, that's gonna be pretty laborious. Yeah, there we go. Every day I'm shoveling. Now I just gotta make sure that I actually manage to get the cog before I bury it on the other end, so I'm just going to grab it and then get my spike back on. Don't think there's a way to... Ah, yes, there is. Low chip design. What am I doing here? Get my spiky back. Looks a bit shifty. Eh, it'll work. Eh, jam it in. And wham it out. Jam it in. 
And come on, come on. There you go. All right. I got these. That's nah, screwed. Let's go see one more room, and then I'm definitely gonna stop. There you have it. Was this a nice room? Oh, Good now we got work. the motor. Well, seeing that we now have that, I might as well just sell it off, right? Besides, it gives me an excuse to play a bit longer. Ha! Alright, motor. Spin. Now, what buttons was it to spin those things? I think it was... Yeah, uh, X and C. Do 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 do. No X and V. No F. No A. No Q. No E. No. Oh, Z. X and Z. So this should make this a bit easier, at least. Whoop. Just fling them about. Whoop. Off you go. Come on, all of you. Yep, we don't need you anymore. So yeah, the last thing is basically the same, but not as hectic and just a tad stronger. But you haven't seen 10% of this game, and if I could, I'd play through the whole thing, but I'm not going to. Well, at least not on camera. All this hard work is wearing me out. Yeah, what are you talking about? This is hard work. Like I said, I'm not going to play through the whole thing even though I want to. I really, really, really can recommend this one. If you're into puzzling, designing stuff for your own, and anything else you could have seen, there's still so much to be seen in this game. And it's free. Well, I'm going to cut it here, so... As always, links will be in the description if you do want to play this. And once again, I can't say this enough. I really, 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 really recommend this one. So, thank you for watching. I'm hoping you are enjoying this series. If you do, feel free to show support by commenting, liking, or subbing if you haven't already. I still enjoy all three of those happening. They help me keep series like these alive and well. And it shows that my work here actually reaches people. And I am now stalling because I really do not want to stop playing. But I have to. At least on camera, that is. Come on. Yeah. Alright, well, that's it. This was Sprocket Rocket. See you on the next Browser Game Spotlight. Bye, everyone.